Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see your first option where it says your name or your device's name. From there, manually make a backup using iCloud. If you got no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer and use iTunes on PC or Finder Mac in order to make that backup and also update if you're having any problems. Anyways, let's move on. We would go down here into general and then software update. However, most of you might see a software update up here already. So if you click right there, it's going to take you here. However, let's say you don't have that message. Don't worry about it. Let's just go back and you can just scroll down, go into general, then second option, software update. Under software update, you will see this. It's only 124 megabytes. We can go ahead and download install. Some of you may just see install, which is perfectly fine. It just depends on your settings because the update itself could have downloaded already. Since this is a really tiny update, this will take no time in order to process and download. Just make sure you have at least 50% of your battery and have your device hooked up to some electricity, even if it's at 90%, as just in case. Because the last thing you want to happen is for your iPhone, iPad, or Touch to turn off on you when it's installing the update, because then you might have to restore it. And that's why we made that backup. Just in case anything happens, we can always get all the information back into it. Anyways, let's just go ahead and download and install. It might ask you for a passcode if you have one set up and then the downloading will begin. So the first process is downloading, then it's going to ask you to install. So right now it's just telling me that it's going to be a few seconds to download, which makes sense. It's very small. After just a couple seconds, you will see this message where it says preparing update. And here we go. Once it's done with that, it's just going to say install now. Let's just tap on install now. Then it's going to verify the update. It's going to turn off. We're going to see an app logo and a loading bar. So after the app logo in the loading bar, you're just going to see this. It's all done. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. And that's it. You can always verify just by going to settings. Again, general software update. And we can see that we are all up to date now. Anyways, that would be it for this video. By this point, you should be maybe at two to five minutes maximum. But yes, it's a really, really quick update. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.